Hi, welcome back to chapter three. In this particular uh, session, we are going to be looking at, once again, the different ways in which we can describe and display quantitative variables. For that purpose, I'm sharing the following PowerPoint slideshow that will be added to your module three, to your chapter three, uh, chapter three module content in your canvas. Uh, we begin by looking at our framework for quantitative reasoning. We're always starting with data. We describe data in chapter one as codifiable information that has purpose, structure, and context. And the kinds of columns of data that we observe are of two varieties, categorical or quantitative. Quantitative variables are what we are going to be discussing in chapter three. We're going to be looking at quantitative variables and we're gonna be asking what's happening to the values of the variables in question, the quantitative variables. And we're also gonna be interested in how often these values recur. And so we have to first classify values and then we have to ask how often these values repeat so that we can understand the data and then we can describe it or display it. There are gonna be two focus ways of doing this. One is by rank, the other one is by amount. Traditionally, in chapter three, we will see that variables that are quantitative are given to us in the form of data, not in the form of summaries of data. So every column will represent an individual variable and every row will represent one observation of each variable. The data will look more or less as this particular descriptor in slide number four. As we open StatCrunch, in order to describe and display these kinds of variables, we need to make sure that our data is in data form. And then we will be using one single command that will actually compute all statistics of center, spread, locations. And these statistics are found in the command stats, summary, stats, column, where we then select the variables and we select which statistics we want and then we compute these statistics. A resulting summary table will then pop up upon computing the statistics. For example, in one of your lab assignments, you will see a data form with a copyable icon, so you don't have to retype the entire data set. The data will load into a column. And by computing, by clicking on stat, summary stats columns, we will then see we will then see which variables to select. We can only select one and which statistics to pick. And then a th third item we click on compute. And what we get is the summary table that has the mean, the variance, the standard deviation, the median, the mean, the max, the range, quartile one, quartile three. Uh, you can also select other statistics from that list and you can recalculate the statistics by going into the options menu and redoing the computations. So that you could study center, spread and location by amount by calculating the mean, the variance and the standard deviation and standard scores, and then visualizing them in a histogram. Or alternatively, you could study the five locations in the data from min to max called quartiles and use them to build a box plot. And graphing a box plot as well as graphing a histogram are very simple, straightforward commands. Thank you for watching.